Chapter 1. The Foundling Kingalug paced to and fro in the dark chamber. So, there is nothing you can do. One of his court physicians glanced at him anxiously. Absolutely nothing, I am afraid, your majesty. King Ulug's face darkened as he stared at the pale queen on the bed. Her rattling breath made one of the physicians flinch. A dark stain spread over the sheets. The boards of the bed were screeching as Queen Amalia's chest heaved up and down, desperate to inhale some air. One of the physicians gently laid his hand on her forehead. It was ice cold. There was no doubt that King Oleg's wife was dying. Oleg glanced around to the silent little bundle that was lying in the corner. Then he turned back to Amalia's bed. The physicians exchanged another nervous glance. They had been supposed to present King Oleg with a healthy child and a healthy queen. Now they had a stillborn child and a dying queen on their hands. Queen Amalia's face was turning a yellowish color, her eyes darting around the room. She has failed as my queen, Oleg growled. She was to give me an heir so that my bloodline lives on. How can she die now? He glared at the physicians and lowered his voice to a whisper. Or maybe... You quacks failed me. Your Majesty, one of the physicians began in a hoarse voice. Silence! Ulug yelled and kicked against a pot full of bloody water in which the physicians had been washing their hands. Look at your king, noble physicians, he roared. An aging king without an heir. Oh yes, my archenemy Agurik shall savor this triumph. Yes, yes. And not only that. My own people shall think I am a fading king, and it is only a question of time until a traitorous wretch stabs me in the back. One of the physicians cleared his throat, but said nothing. Tomorrow, I am supposed to stand on the balcony and present my heir to the crowd. You are aware of the importance of this ritual. Ulla glared at the physicians. You had better think of a solution, physicians. A few dozen miles away, the snowy mountains echoed with battle cries, the clanging of swords, and the screams of dying horses. For years and years, King Oleg's men had been fighting against his arch-enemy, King Agurik. Anger and hatred had buried themselves in King Oleg's face, every wrinkle being a grim witness of his unforgiving wrath. Nobody quite remembered why this war had started in the first place. It had become a fact of life that nobody questioned. People had grown weary and exhausted, but nobody dared to speak up against Ulug. His strength seemed to be inexhaustible, and his queen was even going to give him an heir. It was these days, among the everyday dying and slaughter, that a little miracle happened. Six Rocks Pass, evening. Dead soldiers and peasants everywhere, and a broken cart. What happened here? And what is that little bundle? What is this? What is this? A child? Here in this cold? Darn it. What do we do now? I can't handle those little buggers. Well, let's take the child to our camp. Baby picked up. Follow me. King Oleg's camp is not far from here. Later. I'll carry the child into the barracks. Halt! Commander Arun, what are you bringing there? 
We found this child on the pass. There were dead soldiers and dead peasants everywhere. It was the only survivor. Yes, my men had a skirmish up on that pass. Some deserters had mingled with a trek of peasants and were trying to leave the country. Bastards. They attacked without any warning when my men checked them. Then, everything got out of hand. Too bad for the peasants, and the parents of this child. But war is war. Right. Bring the orphan into the barracks to warm up. War is war. But a helpless infant? Damn it. I am getting old. You there. You were involved in that skirmish today. Come here. Everyone here? Good. Muttering. Trouble brewing. Speak up, men. Is it very hard to tell the difference between an armed renegade and an unarmed peasant? And why did nobody notice the peasants had an infant with them? We might have rescued it ourselves. Now, a low-ranking commander puts me to shame by doing it for me. Brainless dogs! You just should have killed the deserters in that trek, but no. You also slaughtered unarmed peasants. You made that infant an orphan, and then you did not even see it, and left it behind to die. Where is your sense of honor? Where is your discipline? Discipline, this is what you need. The next ten days, all of you are on half rations. Honor, discipline, don't make me laugh. He just wanted an excuse to cut down on our food rations. At right, save point, click the kernel to continue. Let's check the objectives. So there's going to be hints for a different part. So at the camp. Next, there's going to be a bit of a battle, and it's going to suggest. Keep our soldiers together, and uphill, take out the enemy scorpion quickly, try not to tackle all of them at once. You can use it to lure some, you can use your scout to lure some soldiers away from the main fight. We're not playing on standard, we're playing on hard, so no extra night for the defense of the camp. And the enemy rams will be garrisoned, and the scorpion will be stronger, oh boy. It makes no difference for the rest of the scenario how many of your camp Defenders survive, the group of soldiers who go on the journey will always look the same. So let's save this and then start it. Agurik's men are attacking our camp. Okay, so first we'll have some knights. Just trying to get maybe a bit of micro there. Takes the hill. Okay, nice. Don't use the scalp there. You guys walk back. Use the scalp to kill the scorpion over here. Fight, 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 fight. Okay, good. Now we'll use the scout to lure those guys away if we can. Try to focus on those spears. Again, try to do some debating with the scout. And stop the rams before they kill the barracks. Okay, they're going for the tower in the back. Okay, so the, the debating scout is a good thing. Kill that ram. Focus on the minute arms, please. Oh, the other units have gotten in. We're after the 
Skurn. I think we've won this. Okay, we lost the scout. Colonel's still alive. Okay, yeah, using that scout well is very important. Dusk fell upon the living and the dead. Another bloody day had ended. We should bring the child into safety. This camp is no place for little children. Let's bring the infant to King Oleg's castle. Brother Thomas, do you have the child? Yes, I do. My donkey and I will get the child safely to the castle. So let's check out these objectives now. Commander Arun and Brother Thomas must take the child to the town center of King Oleg's castle. Arun leads the expedition while Brother Thomas carries the child. Both men and the child must survive. <laughs> Okay, we'll have this small force to take with us. Remarkable. This infant has a star-shaped birthmark on his right thigh. We notice that birthmark too. Cover the infant up again, monk, or the cold might kill it. Team. Looks like that bridge is out, so we can't go directly there. We'll just follow this passage up here. I think this guy is both the fastest and has the biggest line of sight, so we'll try to use him to do our scouting. Oh, I see footprints there. Let's see, there might be a patrol or something. Where, oh, yep, there is. Let's see if we can maybe avoid that. Looks like they'll walk over there and then come back. Maybe we can spot them. It looks like the archers might be coming for us, or that one archer. Don't kill that donkey if you can't heal. Oh, this guy looks strong. Oh, so much for sneaking past that patrol. Guy almost died. Okay, I think we still got everyone fully alive from that engagement. Yeah, yeah, we got everyone, so let's heal up and then continue going forward. Let's use Brother Thomas as the scout, because he is the most line of sight. Oh, there's two knights there. Can we convert them, perhaps? Uh, research is required before you can convert any units. Okay, so this guy cannot convert. I guess we'll just have to have him heal while we try to... Take out the knights with these units, maybe make a little choke point for them. Keep our healer behind and try to attack over a hill if possible. Or use the cliff because we'll get the cliff bonus. There's a hill there. Let's see, where are those knights? This guy might actually be faster and they don't start chasing him. Look, here comes some up oh, another patrol up there. It's not good. You need to survive. You need to survive too. You guys run like this guy do attacking. Okay, this guy shouldn't have a problem dealing with skirmishers. Oh, especially since he, I think he heals? Yeah, he heals by himself. Alright, lost our archers and some of our men, one of our men at arms. But we still have our force mostly intact. That guy's kind of hurt, we'll do some scouting. Let's see, is there anything up this left road? Looks like just a patrol or something would have been there. Yeah, is there anything up here? Doesn't look like you can really walk there. 
That matter, I'm sealed up and continue up. Looks like we have to go here. And there's quite a bit of rough terrain there. The signpost uh, doesn't say anything. Some forage bushes, a hole. You can climb in the hole. No. And what happens if we go up here? Archers! Yeah, you can probably deal with archers yourself. Okay, if you heal up and we do some micro. Oh, there's men at arms coming from the rear. Up oh, now, there's four archers. Okay, now that we've got it down to three. Up a minute, arms. Okay, you guys go forward now. Help us and try to clear up the archers. Hopefully, this guy can just debate all of their fire. He cannot die, though. Be extra careful to keep him alive. And yes, we got them all. Didn't lose anyone there. Perfect. And then let's wait for everyone to heal. Let's see, there's some rocks up here on this passage. Nothing really up there, up aside from a galley. Maybe we should take out that galley? We can dodge it. Probably like three axes before. Okay, yes, that was easy to take out. Good job, Commander Arun. And, oh, it's friendly. Huns King Hello, old man and old woman. What do you want here? We don't have anything to eat. We are not here to plunder. Besides, you serve the same king as we. We need your help. What difference does it make? Do you think that your lot treats us poor people better than the enemy? Wait, dear. They have a little child with them. Could we at least give it some milk? Um, well, fine. For the child's sake. Thank you. May the Lord bless you for your kindness. I'd rather not remember how many raids the Lord blessed us with. We need to get across the lake as soon as we can. You want to leave? We'll help you continue your journey as fast as possible. Our four sons shall help you. Uh, we must get across the lake somehow. Seek for a solution, or rather, scout for it. The villagers will help you get some wood. Commander Arun and Brother Thomas must take the child to the town center of King Olog's castle. And they, they both must survive still. Hints for this section. See, commander is the key for all battles. Monk can't convert. They must go to the same places together. And these axes can hurt ships. And fishing ships can help to our enemies to range. Okay, the river crossing. If you do not know how to get across the river, go scouting or fishing. The crossing can cost you many soldiers if you unload your units straight at the enemy's feet. Unload them in a better place next time and you might not lose a single man. Cliffs are an obstacle for melee units, but not for ranged units. Maybe your archers and axemen can take advantage of that. No matter what you do, your boat will not last forever. I guess we chop wood. Hmm. Do you know how to build a transport ship, boys? Oh, oh no, we're being attacked. Go, go, go. Did we miss something there? Nope. Well, we'll need to build a fishing ship. While collecting wood and defending against these attacks. So let's maybe take out that galley with Commander Harun again. Dodge the arrow. 
Yeah, I can probably just straight up take the ship one on one. Especially with that guy healing. Oh, we can start making the ship. Okay, take that out. I mean, zero frame delay is so nice. Okay, I guess we'll have to probably scout for a transport ship and do it quickly since we have lots of people chasing us. Oh, there's another galley we'll have to lure into range. Curve, curve, commander's axes. Here we go. Heal that guy up, please. And keep scouting. Alright, so do not want to land there. I think that's obvious. Probably do not want to land there either. There's a little cliff we could there, land there, though. Okay, at least they do not have bow sticks. Oh, there's a transport ship. Get it safely away. Use the fishing ships to dodge. We have stolen a transport boat from the enemy. Okay. And, oh, we no longer have control of those units. What's the objective? You just have to cross the river now. Okay, there's five of them. Let's all get on the transport ship at once. And land. I don't think either any of those locations work, but here. Oh, we lost the fishing ship too. Okay, so we'll do some using the cemented arms to get them into range so Arun can kill them with his axe. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is almost working. And they can't hit the transport ship for some reason. Oh, he's getting them all. Look at him go. Okay, that worked out nicely. Let's get everyone on board. Jump out over here. I'll get you over there. Heal. Okay, you can patrol back and forth and hopefully dodge the tower fire while Arun takes out the tower. Sir, our boat got damaged. It is leaking. Oh no. Well, we will scout with it. I don't have the patrol timed right. I can do this manually. Okay, now it should dodge. I'll just wait for Arun to take out that tower. And hopefully also these axemen. Oh, no, now it's attacking him. Heal. Oh, nope, heal the axemen. Still going after that Axeman. Looks like we lost the transport boat. And I think this is where we'll have to go. Okay, anyway, full health, you're being targeted now. Got it. Okay, any more objectives? Just need to continue going forward, so let's break through this wall. Or first, let's see if there's anything else on the other side of this wall. So no more transport ship, nothing else we probably could have done with it anyway. Just save some population space. Wait, why do we have six pop space? Oh, we have uh, something down there to keep us from being defeated. Thank you, idle military button. Oh, hello.
guess we can go through that gate. Welcome, comrades. Do you see these ruins? See these fires? Uh, yes. Yes, we do. Um, yes? What? Yes? Don't you see? We have destroyed King Agurik's seat. This, my comrades, is the end of King Agurik. We have still seen strong enemy forces on our way here. Are you sure that King Agurik is at an end? <laughs> King Agurik is as good as finished. It is only a question of days until our enemies give in. We have hit them to the quick. We have crippled them. Sir, there are... Okay. <laughs> okay, let's let's run then. Paladin Fabriel. King Agurix army, I didn't know he had so many soldiers left. Yeah, let's run away. Come to burn. Run for your lives! Uh, oh, that paladin's not gonna stand a chance. Sign there. Hopefully they don't follow us down here. Just a... A Gaia Watchtower, apparently. That's interesting. Let's see what happens if we follow this road. Oh, that, that archer. Well, at least we escaped. Any more objectives for us? Nope, just keep going forward. Let's check out what's down here. Where are you running? King Agurik's army has reconquered his fortress. A curse on the enemy. Where are they? Go ahead to the road sign and show me. Bring Commander Arun to the road sign at the crossing. Which way do you want the soldiers to go? Left or right? Put your soldier on the left or right side of the sign to show them the way. Then click the sign. Okay, um, we probably don't want them to go up there because they'll be massacred. Maybe left somehow? Let's scout what's on the left. Looks like that's the way we want to keep going. I mean, there's a tower there. Yeah, let's tell them to go left. Let's check that objective one more time. Bring him to the road sign, put him on the left side, and then click the sign. Okay. Go left. To the left? Thank you, comrade. You guys coming? Up oh, there they are. They'll come hopefully to the left then. And use that mangonel to take out this tower for us. Not suicide themselves up here. Charge! Charge, indeed. Go, Mankinel, go. I'll have Commander Arun help out. We don't want to lose the rest of our guys yet. Okay, now let's take out that tower. We'll both the towers if we can. You can him up, please, so he doesn't die to the tower. It's almost going down. I don't know which of them they are, if they're feudal or castle. As if they're feudal, then they definitely don't have murder holes, so they won't be attacking the guys at their base. Up their attack. Oh no, Manganel, go for it. Attack the tower, please. Don't go back. Where are you going? Okay, goodbye, Manganel. You were nice while you lasted. Or just stop there.
It looks like they're all just going back now. All right, three, bye. Three. Thanks for the help. Three. Thanks for going left. Three. Three. See any more objectives for us? Just continue three. coming this way. Three. 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 Oh, two passages now. Three. Help me, my donkey is getting out of control. Oh no, it's running away from us. A little avalanche there. The donkey has bolted. We need to go after the monk so that we can help him and the infant. Okay, this is going to be a bit of micro then. Now the monk to kill us. You guys attack, please. Do they all just chase the commander? Alright. And he should heal by himself over time. So we're okay still. Alright, what's our objective now? Brother Thomas and the child have fallen into the hands of your enemies. To recapture him, you must kill his guards, the two-handed swordsman, and bring Commander Arun to him. Then run, in all caps, so we'll need to do some running. Team, team, team. It's a lot of two-handed swordsmen. Oh, there's a watchtower there. It's over here. And nothing really interesting over here. Alright, so I guess now we just have to take out that tower again. Same strategy of use the commander to debate the tower fire. Oh, they're going to actually come out if we do that. At least he heals rather quickly. Oh, they're all coming towards us. Let's run, 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 run. Hopefully they stop following if we run fast enough. Okay, we've kind of gotten them out of the camp. Oh, they're still coming though. We can hit and run. We now have the hill, so that'll help us. It's all about hitting and running. With him. Okay, I think that got him. I think we actually got him. You guys come up here. We'll head back to this camp. Let's go with a few archers still. Do some leery like micro to kill them all. Okay, that went fairly well. Let's see what else, just that tower? Do we want to kill that tower? Just have the axemen go for it. Okay, I think as long as he stays within the range of the tower, we'll target him and not the axemen. Do some micro, and actually won't take too long to go down. Just a bit of side stepping. Oh, well, they don't have ballistics. You can even tank a few hits and just heal it off. I don't know which direction we're going to need to run, but we will need to run.
just noticing now, but we are in the Dark Age, and that's how they did the that we only train fishing ships thing. Get out of here! <laughs> the, the randomly voiced lines are hilarious to me. What are these objectives now? We cannot possibly get past these rocks, but maybe there is another path through the mountains that we missed earlier? If I remember correctly, they removed some trees or something. See, so hopefully the army is still chilling back there and not following us. Let's actually heal up our axemen a bit, though. Just scout forward. Do we right click there? Does anything happen? No, let's check these trees, maybe? Or maybe back down there? Oh, oh look at that. The trees are now removed. That. Okay, we'll just bring everyone down here. Oh, here is a militia renegade soldiers. Don't know how I feel about renegades. Maybe they'll want to join us. Probably need to bring the donkey guy here too to start a conversation. Meanwhile, it's a new scout. What are you doing here? Lost your way? Oh, there's a palisade there now. We are bringing this child to King Oleg's castle. Can you help us to get there? To King Oleg's castle? You must be joking. We are tired of war. Oleg is a fading king. Down with him. Uh, uh oh. Fading? I don't think so. His queen shall soon give him an heir. What? Yes, I have heard of that too. Listen, let's just stop this useless talk. Let us go. Wait a minute, my friends. You are not going to betray us, are you? No, no, of course we're not. Stop. Oh, crap. Now run away. Okay. Did not lose anyone there. Okay, I was worried there for a moment. Let's attack that palisade then. Heal up as we attack it. Especially that. Oh, there's more coming from behind. Gotcha. Renegade soldiers defeated. Foul traitors! If their companions hadn't mingled with some innocent peasants, the parents of this child might still be alive. Monk. Certainly, sir. As the monk is, Brother Thomas. See any new objectives? See, that path leads nowhere. Looks like we're almost there now. Closer than we were. Had we been able to cross that bridge at least? Oh, there's some knights hiding in the forest. Okay, this one might be tricky. Try to use this hill at least. Try to lure the archers out in front of everyone else. Okay, that fight wasn't bad. See how you fare against a knight. I just use the hill. And should get him. There we go. King Agaric defeated. Oh, hopefully that's the end of the opposition, and we can just right click and go there. I hope that's how this works. 
We are on the right way. Hold on. I hear hoofs behind our back. We are being followed. Run! Ah, where shall we run? I don't want to die. Okay, so just the two of us make it. Men, don't run off. We must keep together. Sir, they won't listen. Let's go to the castle as fast as we can. Oh, okay, there's some guys behind us. I'll let them open the gate. <laughs> oh, no. We have arrived. I need to report to the next high-ranking officer. Behold, the royal physicians are coming towards us. A oh, physician. Welcome, brave men. Whose child is it that you are carrying? We found this child on the Six Rocks Pass, near our west camp. It was lying near a broken cart among many corpses. If it had any parents left, they are dead now. Physicians looking at each other. Ah. You did a brave deed, sir. Allow me to bring this poor infant to the castle. We shall take care of it. Brother, would you please hand over the child to me? I makes the sign of the cross over the child. Here you go. Thank you. I shall bring him inside. My fellow physician shall show you your quarters for the night. Thank you ever so much, sir. It is a rare pleasure for a humble man like me to receive so much attention. Now, before I accept your generous invitation, I just need to make my report to a superior officer. Oh, there is still time for that tomorrow. No objections, please. We rank higher than any of your officers, and you do not want to insult our hospitality. No, sir, not at all. I shall gladly accept your offer, sir. Follow me, my friends. Oh, I don't trust those physicians. Follow the doctor to the entrance of the barracks. Any hints for this part? Nope, just gotta go to the entrance of the barracks to our... our quarters. Hope the physician doesn't do anything. Unbecoming of a physician. You can stay here for the night. Somebody shall come and provide you with a hearty meal. Let me express my deepest gratitude for your generosity, your honor. I used to think that food supplies were very short. Under normal circumstances, yes. But tomorrow is a special day. King Olug shall present his newborn heir to the crowd. Sadly, our dear Queen Amalia did not survive the birth. So it will be a day of great joy and of great sadness. Sleep well, my brave fellows. Cupbearer, I am bringing some wine provisions. Let me see. Stroking his hands over the food. Well, well. Yes, it looks good enough for our guests. Aye. Physician wiping some powder from his hands. Sleep well, my fellows. Sleep well. Are you sure you are not taking anything? Commander Erwin said. Th Thank you, sir. Brother Thomas mumbled. I am not hungry. You are welcome, said the commander, whipping his teeth into the chunk of meat. Meat. Food for the kings. Brother Thomas's thoughts wandered back to his imprisonment. Should he talk to Erwin about... No, the commander would not listen. A dog was sniffing around his legs, looking at the untouched piece of meat. The monk did not try to chase the dog away when it snapped after the meat chunk and gobbled it down, with little threads of saliva dripping from its mouth. Confused thoughts raced through Brother Thomas's head. Why? Why on earth had Olg's physicians been so eager to take an orphan into their care? Somehow, he was worried for the child. Should he not have given it to the physicians? But what could he have said? A low whimper from the dog brought him back to his senses. It had fallen to the side. Even more saliva was dripping from its mouth, and its eyes were bulging. Have you seen this, sir? 
Brother Thomas said and slowly turned around to Commander Arun, only to behold that Arun had become ghastly pale, holding his stomach. His eyes were bulging, just like the dog's eyes. The whimpering of the animal was hardly audible anymore. The commander tried to get up from the straw, but feebly fell on his back. He looked at the monk again. He shook his head as if he wanted to say something, but he just went on shaking his head until it finally dropped back, and his eyes glazed over. The monk stared at the chunk of meat, then at Commander Arun's corpse. Naked fear exploded in his stomach. He started mumbling prayers to himself. He wanted to scream and run out, but something warned him that his only chance of survival was to keep quiet. He heard steps shuffling outside, and he let himself drop down next to the dead commander. Oh, Holy Mary, please, Holy Mary, hold your hands over me. Please, Holy Mary, and all the saints, hold your hands over me. Hold your hands over me. In a house opposite of the barracks, an old woman yawned and looked out of her window. She had always had a light sleep, and the footsteps and the clanging of hooves had woken her up. A cart stood outside of the barracks. She saw shadows moving in and out of the barracks, carrying heavy lumps over their shoulders. Carrying out the drunkards again, she babbled to herself as she returned to her straw bag. Strange that they threw those guys on a cart like dead people. Ah, but who cared? Soldiers died of their wounds or of bad wine every day. None of her business. She yawned again and fell fast asleep. The next day, King Olug appeared on the balcony of his castle. He held his child up in the air for everyone to behold. Show your veneration to my son, Prince Ulio, Olug shouted. The crowd of peasants, soldiers, and craftsmen cheered. Olug's wife had died, but she had borne him a healthy heir. The future of the house of Olug was secured. One or two people noticed that King Olug's eyes burned harder than ever before. But then, King Olug never smiled. So achievements. Only lost 17 units and killed 110. That, that Commander Arun was really strong. Too bad he ate some bad meat. Anyway, next episode will be coming up soon. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.